Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your mid to end of August love reading. So just wanna thank everyone who has supported me, who has sent me messages, booked personal readings, have liked, comment, shared, subscribed. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So we're gonna do singles and couples. We're gonna split this in two if you haven't caught any of my other readings. I'm doing the singles first and then couples and in-betweeners right after, okay? So single Pisces, what do you have? I'm sorry, yes, Pisces, okay, making sure. What do we have going on for? single Pisces. I don't know why Cancer came into mind. I guess because Cancer is next. So, okay. Pisces. Let me let me refocus here. Pisces. Mid to end of August. Love reading for single Pisces. Give your relationship a chance. So if some of you have been feeling some vibes lately, Okay, and healing family issues. If some of you have been feeling some vibes lately where you're kind of feeling like the same cycles have been repeating, communication-wise, whatnot, um, I am getting the sense um, that there's been some miscommunication with a few of you. It's almost as though you kind of just, the best way I can describe it, it's almost as though you kind of just checked out or tuned out of the relationship, not permanently, because I still feel that you guys have an attachment to the other person here, but I guess because you're not feeling as though it's not going anywhere. And you really want this to go somewhere. I mean, if you can just like pull on those reins and get this shit going, you would, but you're kind of afraid of looking like an asshole when you do it, when all you really want to do is look towards the future and plan something better, moving on towards calmer waters. I love when the cards finish my sentences for me. <laughs> so give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership really really think about everything mercury retrograde has kicked up and why you're feeling this way um, be careful making hasty decisions wanting to cut people out give your relationship a chance there's the judgment card you know trying to trying to get this going again trying to go back to where things were at one point where you felt your most content your most happiest and maybe this retrograde has brought up a lot of insecurities and doubts, so much so where the miscommunication wasn't minor. It was almost as though this was constant miscommunication. I feel like this is someone who, ha who is single, but has a love interest in terms of you were trying to get this going off on the right foot and it's like it never started it's like it's almost as though like it ended before it could start there was some whenever there was a bit of like scheduling conflicts or um you know somebody didn't call back uh they tell you oh i was too tired i came home from work or whatever and then there's some resentment there, there's some anger, and it's all, all of it, I see all of it due to miscommunication. I don't see anything other than that, that you kind of just decided this isn't going anywhere, hasn't even started and it's already not going anywhere, so I'm just gonna check out. But you need to ask yourself why, why you're feeling this way, why they're feeling this way, Who's the one with the most hesitancy? Because I feel that one of you wants to work on it more than the other. While the other is probably dealing with family issues that you're not aware of. And it could have to do with a financial situation. Maybe they're the breadwinner. Maybe they're taking care of their parents. Maybe they got siblings. Maybe they've got other stuff, other family issues going on that you have no idea. And so you decide, I'm just going to keep staying single because why? I don't need to answer to anyone. And so you kind of, you don't even just shy away. You're just kind of like, meh, fuck this, you know? You notice the five of swords here. You turn your back on what could have been. This guy's only carrying five here. 
it's this same guy who just said, I'm turning my back on this. I thought this was going somewhere. I thought like, hey, every time we try to communicate, something would go wrong. Maybe it's just not meant to be. There's something going on here. I feel as though for some of you, there's someone putting in more work into their career, their job, their work life, their finances. And I really feel as though there are some family issues in regards to money. You know, the relationship we have with money and our finances has a lot to do with how we were raised, how we were brought up. So for some, I'm feeling as though there is someone here who's supporting a parent or a sibling someone that's out of a job, someone that kind of just like, you know, yeah, I'm helping out my mom. Yeah, I'm helping out my dad or, you know, someone made some bad moves financially. And so this particular person kind of had to take responsibility, kind of had to take action, right? But you at the same time, remember, this is a general reading The, you know, these energies can flip. They can go vice versa. But I feel as though, sorry about the glare, guys, on that light. I have my lamp overhead. But, you know, I feel as though you kind of just want to say, to hell with this. What am I trying for? They're too busy and preoccupied with something else. So, again, miscommunication. If you are walking away from this and just saying, I'm single, I don't need to answer to them. I don't need to tell them why. I'm just not in a rush to text them back. I'm just not calling them back. I'm not making any effort anymore because I already did it in the beginning and it went nowhere. If you are not speaking your truth as to why you just feel like ghosting them or vice versa. Someone may be ghosting you. They might be embarrassed to admit to you what's going on. Why? Because when you first meet someone, do, do you really want to hear about all their money troubles? Isn't that what's going to scare you away? Do you want to hear about all their family issues? They're probably embarrassed and they're probably scared that the first thing you are going to do is run away. And yet you're running away anyway. Or they are. Because there, there it is. The five of swords he's holding up because he thinks he's going to be victorious no matter what. But then turns around to escape responsibility here. Oh, look at that. And two fives. Okay. And two ones, because, well, three ones. You've got two aces and the magician, but you've got the ace of swords reverse, right? So if you are putting in a lot of work or a lot of time, energy, effort into your job, into your career, and not so much into what could be a relationship, because remember, this is single Pisces, I feel as though you can manifest both at the same time. However, there's been some distance. You've been doing your own thing or they've been doing their own thing. And so it's like, how do I go back and tell them that I'm still interested? How do I go back and tell them, let's try this again, but the right way. As the magician holding the key, holding every piece of the puzzle here, having every single tool here at their disposal, what's on top? their emotions, that cup of love right there. You can manifest both things. So whether it's you or them with family issues, you really feel as though you're at a crossroads, not quite sure which path to take. Do I continue pursuing this career, this possible promotion, this new business venture? Do I even try to work on my happily ever after? It's there for the taking. So what are you going to do with it, right? What are you going to do with it? You're going to go back in and want to offer that cup of love. Or perhaps they're going to. Because they finally realized that, you know, this is a good person that I'm not giving a valid chance to. Or vice versa. This is somebody that I can have something with, but I'm so consumed by all the shit going on in my house. Maybe nobody's working in your household. Maybe only one person is living in your household. Party of five. I've got the most fives here, right? Two fives. With that ace of swords reverse, whether it's you or the other person, 
they're afraid to speak up. They're afraid to say something. They're afraid to tell you why they're not as communicative as things should normally be in the beginning of a relationship, right? When you're in that getting to know you phase um, as you get to know each other. And so it kind of puts things in a weird position because what's the first thing that goes through your mind is like, well, I guess this guy's not interested. Why bother? But then all of a sudden they hit you up. They send you a text. They say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Sorry, I haven't communicated. I've been working a lot, right? And, and you get happy, but then it's like, how much longer of this? Like, when are you finally going to have time for me? So let's close this out, singles, with an oracle message. Next step for Pisces singles. Next step, have faith. How appropriate, right? Trust your faith in this situation. So if this isn't you with the family issues, financial family issues, I feel as though for some there might even be someone with a medical condition and so their parent, their sibling, their relative, whoever it might be is, you know, unable to work right now. And so a lot of people might not be as forward about what's going on in their household when you first meet, when it's in that like butterfly stage where, you know, butterflies in my stomach and I can't wait to see them. And then it's like you go out one time and then like you don't hear from them. You don't know what's going on in their house. Maybe they're taking care of their sick mom and, you know, mom's been hospitalized. They're trying to work like crazy. They're trying to, you know get a handle on everything around their house that it's like by the time they have time for themselves to try to figure out what am I going to do with this person that I met that I want to see you know it's it's difficult it's difficult for people like that or this could be you you know maybe you have a sick child you know that you're at home because I say that because look we've got children here and you have the angels looking over you your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So whatever it was that may have been going on with your parents, with the way you were raised, uh, situations that are, you know, and they are influencing your present and your future with relationships. Just have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Okay, Pisces singles, that was your reading from now until the end of August, mid-August. That was your reading. Then I'm going to move on to couples. Couples, Pisces couples, married, in-betweeners. Let's see what comes up. Who needs, the, who needs the message the most? Let's see who comes up. Couples, in-betweeners, dating, Pisces. Mid-August to the end of August. Oh, they don't want to shuffle anymore. That tells me it's time. What do we have going on for Pisces couples? Oh, that one flew out. Well, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, if this is you where you can relate to the singles and the couples because somebody ghosted you after a couple dates and you have no idea what's going on and then they finally fess up and they tell you and maybe they're making the effort or maybe it's time for you to make the effort and tell them hey look I know I haven't seen you since our last date like three weeks ago I haven't told you what's been going on you know it's not you <laughs> but this is what's going on in my life and I really want you to know that it's, it's nothing personal. I just want you to understand everything that's going on in my life. I don't want you to think that I ghosted you. I don't want you to think that I'm not interested in you. And so, yeah, so you have to make the effort. So for some of you, actually, you have to make the effort towards forgiveness. Because I'm feeling some tension in some of, some of the Pisces couples right now. And I feel as though a lot of you have the power to stop the tension from growing into anger and resentment. See? <laughs> the full card. You hold the key here. You are the one that can ultimately say, hey, you know what? Let me move these over. You, you are the one that can ultimately say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry about the way things have been going lately. I'm sorry about the way I've been acting or reacting. This is what's been going on with me. 
or I understand that this is what's been going on with you or I'm trying to understand what's been going on with you but we really need to talk about this and we both need to make the effort here and meet each other halfway because I get the feeling as though one situation is ending while another one is trying to begin something new. And so couples, if there has, if there has been some harsh communications, someone just being a total jerk, you wondering whether or not there's a future anymore, thinking I didn't sign up for this shit. I wanted a new beginning. I wanted to come clean. I wanted to talk about this. I wanted her to understand where I was coming from. And instead, instead, I'm staying up all night worrying about whether or not we still have a future or not, or if this is over with. So what do we need to make the effort for? I feel like the forgiveness and learning here has a lot to do with, again, miscommunication. I really feel as though for so many of you, the miscommunication here, pretty much all of August is what I'm feeling, Has a, whether you believe in Mercury retrograde or not, but this is what Mercury retrograde does, miscommunication. And I feel as though it's so weird because I'm feeling like this is petty fighting, petty arguments. Like it's almost as though like, oh, somebody says, oh, well, you're in a mood. And then that just like goes crazy. Right. Like, well, what do you mean by that? What are you trying to say? And then it's like, well, I'm just saying that, you know, well, no. I mean, look at how you're talking to me. And, and it's like this constant cycle of disrespect. Because all it takes is for one person to be offended about how something was said, whether there was real meaning towards it or not, right? Maybe you kind of half meant it, like a little jab, but you know you really meant it because you're trying to get their attention. But this all is about miscommunication, mistrust in the other person's words and actions. I really do feel that all this miscommunication just has you guys stuck in your head, overthinking things, and you know that you need to make the effort to start something new if you are involved with the Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart because we have the Death card and we have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups in this deck, I really view it differently from the traditional Rider weight. And that is because when I see this card, what I see here is sadness, depression, despair, just so many mixed emotions just jumbled up. And it's almost like it's a wait for you to get out of bed in the morning. You're so overwhelmed by the emotions when I did the Mercury Retrograde uh, readings on Instagram Live, for those that don't follow me on Instagram, I do readings there live weekly. I did Mercury Retrogrades. And what came up for Pisces was a lot of the crying, the emotional despair. You want to take action. You want to move on something. You want to make the effort. And at the same time, you feel stalled by all these emotions. And there it is. That's forward movement. That's wanting to give this another chance. And really, with the death card, not only is it giving it another chance, yes, you're trying to make the effort or your partner is, but it's about, look at that, how beautiful, the Ace of Cups. But it's also about letting go of what got you to, to this point and moving forward completely filled with love in a loving way. And it's, it's about le letting go of the past, of what got you to this Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, what got you feeling all this tumultuous emotional energy, this despair, this sadness, almost as though you're begging for forgiveness and you don't know why at the same time because you felt like, I don't know why I feel like begging for forgiveness, but then all I did was say this. 
it's it's like it almost doesn't seem right like it doesn't justify you know having to you know bow and ask for forgiveness and get on your knees and say i'm so sorry for the way i treated you because it's like it, it when you really think about it or if you think about it six months from now you're like we've probably gotten into worse fights we've probably had worse disagreements but this one this one felt so much more powerful so much more painful so much more emotional and all you really care to do is make the effort get back together trying to fix things look at that exactly eight of swords get out of your head you're waking up to the realization that you know this wasn't as horrifying my behavior or their behavior maybe maybe you're the one overreacting over somebody else's behavior maybe they're overreacting over yours but I feel as though it's time to end the miscommunication, make the effort to meet each other halfway and see where this takes you. Because the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. So Pisces, you know, I have this feeling I need to pull one more card for you, the heal, heal yourself, because I really, really feel, honestly, I feel like your emotions just went crazy this month. And it's like, you don't know why you're feeling so sad. You don't know why you said the things that you said. Maybe you went off on your partner. Maybe it's, it's one of those where you go off on your partner and you know, you know, it's like you know it in your gut. Like, oh shit, I think I ruined things between us. I think I broke him. I think I hurt him. I think it's over this time. I took it too far or vice versa. They might be feeling that way because you've kept your distance. You've been really hurt and emotional. So what you need to do from here is self-love. Really, really think about what got you to this point. All these emotions that just came up. What did Mercury retrograde kick up from the past emotionally? that you weren't ready to share with your partner and rather than share with them what was coming back up what was resurfacing that you needed to heal from rather than sharing it with them all that came out was built up emotions that turned into resentment and anger the minute you opened your mouth and so again it was like one small comment that you know normally next day you guys would be cool everything's all right i'm sorry for the way i was babe whatever but this has probably been weeks of kind of feeling like you, like some distance between you guys the love is there but now it's trying it's time to come back from that it's time to really love yourself and help them understand what you've been going through or vice versa be open and understanding when they come to you about why they behave the way they did or why they have been behaving the way they have. Because there's a lot that sometimes we don't realize that we've been holding on to. We think we've let it go. And Mercury retrograde says, uh-uh, girlfriend. No, no, homeboy. Uh-uh. No, no. I know it was five years ago, babe. But guess what? It's coming back. Because we're not going to give you the future that you want until... It resurfaces, you heal from it, you let it go, and then you move on. Then we give you your happily ever after. We can't, you can't build a happily ever after with all this nonsense from the, back, from the past. You haven't been loving yourself enough. You've been putting other people first. So how can you offer love to someone when you're not offering it equally to yourself? So Pisces, I really hope this resonated. Um, thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Please follow me on Instagram if you're not already there. Like and share. Give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you. Comment below. And if it didn't resonate, sorry, maybe next month, you know. I appreciate the thumbs downs just as much. Don't bother me. It just wasn't for you, okay? If you didn't like it, well, you didn't like it. You know, it's all good. There's always next month.
or two months or next year. It's all good, Pisces. So have a good one. Like, share, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have your September readings coming out shortly, as well as we go into Virgo season. I'm going to do all signs Virgo season because that's my season. Hey, and if you're not already, um, follow me on Instagram. I will be making an announcement with Virgo season as my birthday comes up. Okay, so take care. Bye.